Hi, I'm Katie Fragon, a Group Program Manager in the Windows User Experience team. In Windows 8, we want to make sure all of our users have a really personal experience that's simple to set up and easy to use across all of their Windows 8 PCs. We can do this because we're powered by Windows Live. In Windows 8, you'll have the option to sign into your PC using your Windows Live ID instead of just a regular local account. This gives us the ability to take all the settings that you use to personalize your PC, both with Windows and your Metro style applications, associate them to your Live ID in the cloud, and then make them available later to you to sync to any Windows 8 PC you use with the same Live ID. Let me show you. So one of the first things I always do when I'm setting up my machine is change the lock screen picture to something personal. So here I have changed it to be a picture of my kids, Tom and Audrey. So as I come on in to the computer, you'll notice um, it's really personal to me. My start screen has my name, Katie Fregon, and my profile picture just already there. And then as I um, go around, you'll notice different things that are personal to me. So I've added some pin sites from IE in, on my start screen. And if I go into IE, um, I could just log right into Hotmail. I didn't need to do anything in order to do that. And if I start a new tab, it's got all my frequent uh, sites and my pin sites, so same ones that you saw on the start screen. And as I go around and customize my uh, PC, there's lots of different things that I change. One of the things I like to do is turn off the sounds on the keyboard. So it's one of the first things I usually do when I'm setting up my PC and I have to remember to go and do later. Um, the other thing I uh, tend to do is when I'm in desktop, I switch my taskbar to be on the right side of the screen instead of the bottom. And so later on, that's going to be remembered. That's going to be really helpful for me. Um, the other great thing about Metro style applications is I can use them and like I was watching the keynote with uh, Steven here and I'm kind of halfway through but I want to come back to this later. I'll be able to do that on my second PC or any other PC, just pick up right where I left off. Similarly, like an app like the News Reader, I can add a couple of feeds here. Those are going to be available to me later when I uh, access that News Reader. So right now I can just kind of browse around them and when I come back to it, they'll be there for me. So let's go over to my second PC that I just got and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and set up my second PC. So here I'm finishing setup. I'm going to type in my live uh, address. And then it's going to ask me to uh, enter my password. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. And that's going to finish the setup, finalize my settings, and now I'm going to be creating the user profile. Um, it's the first time I've logged into this PC, so it's um, preparing and signing in with my Live ID, which you can see right there. Okay, so the PC's finished creating that user profile for me, and so now um, you can see different things are already set up. My username, uh, Katie Fregon, is right up there on the start screen. And because we don't want to interfere, um, with what you're doing on your PC right away, we actually run the roaming in the background. So as you use the PC, you'll start to see your personalizations come in with the different settings. So right there you saw my user profile picture um, came down and synced, and that's just running the background. So as you're using the PC, you'll start to see things show up um, so that we're not interfering with what you want to do right away. So another good example here is my, my IE pin sites are right there. And if I come in here, I can actually go into IE. I'll get the same thing. I can just create a new tab and I'll, I'll automatically I have my frequent and pinned right there for me to pick whatever I need to do. I didn't need to type those sites in or pin them manually. They were just right there for me. So similarly, as I um, explore the rest of the second PC, I'll see the my other settings come in. So if you remember, I roamed that um, I chose to sync down that uh, keyboard setting and that's that's off for me as well. And um, if I come into desktop, my taskbar is on the right hand um, like it was on that first PC. And if I come in here and I'm doing um, different things with the different applications, so you'll remember I was playing that video and I was about halfway through. So as I come into the video, launch it, I'm right where I picked up off that uh, first PC, which is great. I didn't have to um, find that video again. I didn't have to start it from scratch and then find the 40 minute mark. It was right there. I'm halfway in and I'm picking up right where I left off to finish watching that keynote. 
The other great thing is this kind of is the same across all my apps. So if I come into the news reader, I can also um, have the feeds that I had uh, pinned and picked in that first PC. They're available to me. I didn't have to select them. So I immediately launch that and I can start reading those feeds. The Swiss Miss and that Design Milk are right there for me. So really helpful. So as you can see, really powerful signing in with my uh, Live ID. All my settings are available to me. So to finish up, I'm just going to come here and lock the screen so you can see the uh, lock screen picture also synced to this PC. So just really as simple as that, I log in with my Live ID. I can get going and use that second PC the way that I'm used to using it and the way that's personal to me just because all of my settings sync to this PC. Okay, thanks.